Thanks a lot, Ray. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. Your local Delta News tonight begins in Washington County, where a woman who is running across the country makes a stop. She's not only doing it for the exercise, but to help boys and girls in the Delta and in every state. WXVT Steve Dreyer has more local news tonight from Greenville. 23-year-old Portland, Maine resident Zoe Romano is a woman on a mission. She is running across the country for the Boys and Girl Club of America in her local office in Portland, Maine. Running across the country wasn't the easiest things for Zoe to do, but with lots of training and preparation, she feels if others can do it, so can she. I guess it didn't really happen overnight, but it sort of did. Um, I had been thinking about bicycling across the country, and then I thought everyone does that and far fewer people run it. So literally the next day I, I said, hey, I'm going to run it, and I started talking to my friends, and I found out one of them knew someone who had just done it. So I called him, and he survived, and I thought if he can do it, I can do it. Her travels brought her to places she never thought she would ever visit. Whether it's a small mining town in Arizona or the deserts of Southern California, she met a lot of people, stayed in a lot of places, and heard a lot of stories. I met, stayed with so many people who want to share their lives or their stories with me. Um, you know, stayed with ministers who have taken me to their churches, stayed on cattle ranches where I've got to go see, um, you know, cows giving birth or like feeding or just totally different experiences with so many different kinds of people. With her athletic background, preparing for this four-month, 3,000-mile run is going to take its toll. For her, the first few weeks were the hardest, but after a while, she was able to adapt and fight through the pain. The hardest part of the journey was probably the first few weeks. Um, kind of every, each and every part of my body went through their own little injury, and I just ran through it, but it was really, it's like every day. I never doubted whether I wanted to be doing it or whether I would do it, but every day was kind of a huge challenge in itself. With the end in sight for her, she challenged herself and pushed herself to the limits. She has no regrets and says you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it. And you can do whatever you want when you grow up and you can be whatever you want. And I really would just say that again to every kid, every adult, everyone out there, you really can be or do whatever you want. And the biggest thing is just taking that first step. She began this journey back in January in Huntington Beach, California. It ends in Charleston, South Carolina, four months, 3,000 miles, and over six million steps later, she's only weeks away from her final destination. Reporting in Greenville, Steve Dreyer, WXVT, Delta News. Now to follow her journey across the country, just go to her website at zoegoesrunning.wordpress.com. Also in Washington County.